48 years old, um, and I'm uh, here in Kuwait for working for 22 years already. Next to Ate, graduate student. Hi everyone, my name is Charity, but you can call me Jalila, nice name. And um, I've been working here in Kuwait for Just, kasi lahat ng mga trabaho ngayon sa abroad is talagang pinaghirapan natin yun. So, in mo ma'am, push mo yung sarili mo sa taas. Huwag mo talagang palagi ilang. Kasi bawat trabaho ay pinaghirapan natin yan. So, don't worry. Okay, go for it. Okay. Hi, um, I'm Vanessa Navala, 33 years old. And I'm working here in Kuwait for 5 years. Let's proceed to, sir. Hi, I'm Gary Salas. I've been here in Kuwait for the Ayan, kung magtataka kayo doon, bakit meron tayong mga kasakasamang nakatoga dito sa ICSA. So welcome again dito sa ating live update kasama si Miss Lynn dito sa likod ng camera and yung mga ating students na yun, kakarisig na na ng kanilang credential. This time, hapa, ano no, sa pagkatapos nilang matapos itong course na isa sa mga in-demand course natin, yung UK Diploma in Accounting. So, yan talaga, no, yung pinaka, mahirap talaga tong course, yung accounting kasi, yun, analyzing, balancing, and even, ano no, um, who am bookkeeping ng report ng company. Um, let's start tayo dito kay Sir Randy. Sir Randy, paano mo ito nahanap yung ICSA po? Um, I say it's a long time that I've been um, like um, following the school. Mm -hmm. uh, and first time I saw that your page in Facebook. I and I attempted to enroll from several courses, but I still have a uh, thoughts of like about my availability, you know, the time. So when uh, accounting was introduced, and I, I am really get interested. I said I really uh, need to get this course because it's related to my job. job so it's yes. really, uh, it will really help me if I have this knowledge and skills uh, when I will be able to apply this you know, mm. to my current job. Yes. So, so those are mostly the purpose why all our students are enrolling for our UK Diploma. Kasi nga, meron na kayong instructor to guide you every step of the way, especially dito sa course ng accounting, which is kung marinig lahat ng kababayan natin sa Pilipinas. No? Kapag accounting, ay grabe, maths. Gagawa na iisip na ng mathematics. So yan, thank you Mr. Randy. Let's move on po kay Miss Cherry Pie. Yan ma'am. Kwento natin ma'am kung paano ba to na, I know, si Ma'am Cherry Pie is one of our previous students already. Yan ma'am, paano po ninyo nakapag-decide na mag-take up ng UK Diploma in Accounting? Well, I think uh, it's a big challenge because before my previous job is like a admin, uh, office admin. So as an office administrator, so like it's like a uh, multitasking. So I act also as a uh, assistant accountant. So na pagisip ko bakit hindi ako mawala ng accounting course. So, kumbaga, itong ating UK Diploma in Accounting is just to formally to have a credential background sa ating accounting. Actually, she has ano na, um, experience in accounting. So, hindi lang ganun ka-depth yung knowledge in accounting. So, that's why Ms. Cherry Pie advances herself to enroll in UK Diploma in Accounting. So, let's proceed po kay Ma'am Vanessa. Um, Paano tayo nakapag-decide sa pag-enroll sa accounting? Magandang ba? Ano naman, napaka laking challenge sa atin, special. Yes po. At first, um, una-una, I found out this as uh, exam through flyers, actually. So, and then I add their uh, page, at the page, and then maybe years, two years past, mm -hmm. I saw their post about accounting mm -hmm. uh, course. And that, at that time, is pandemic. So, parang na-realize ko na kaysa mag-stay lang ako dito sa bayan naman ng ito. So, yes. I ginamit ko yung time ko na sabi ko mag-enroll na lang ako. At least, mag-enroll na ako. Magigilin ako ng, at 
definition ng values. And actually, uh, kaya ko siya, kaya ko binili yung accounting because it is my first uh, dream course of accounting. Kaya lang because of a lack of finances, uh -huh. so hindi ko siya natupad. So tumakuha ko siya nung nai-end up ko siya. Uh -huh. And then mas natuwa ka talaga ngayon kasi yes. nga, no? With honor talaga yung itong batch natin ng accounting kasi most lahat sa kanila talaga is naka-distinction sa diploma nila. And no, no, taas no, ta ano talaga ako, hands up talaga ako sa ating mga sesante na habang nagtatrabaho, especially doon yung mga trabaho nila is 24-7, talagang hands up talaga ako, gilig talaga ako sa kanila. Kasi paano nila na ma-manage yung trabaho at the same time yung pag-aaral. Lalo na po sa accounting kasi medyo madubo nga, di ba, sabi nila. So, yan, that's for si to Sir Darius din. Kasi, isa, Sir Darius din pala is isa sa ating mga, ano din, mga um, old students niya rin dito sa ICSD. So, para tayo sa'yo nakapag-decide na mag-enroll dito sa ating UK Diploma in Accounting? Mm -hmm. Way back when I was in Philippines, um, I was able to continue my study because of financial. Uh -uh. Um, so when I uh, decided to go abroad, uh, I looked for a school here in Korea. Uh -huh. And one of the school I found is NCSA. Uh -huh. So when I heard to it, I started studying in uh, Hula for office management. Uh -huh. You know, I'm working in that means I want to learn more when it comes to office managing. Uh -huh. And then later on, I decided also to study accounting because uh, as part of my job as admin and overall in charge of the company, I was designated to be also an accountant. So because of lack of knowledge when it comes to accounting, I said to enroll this course. So talaga ka ano no, parang every chance you get it ano no, as opportunity not to stop from learning something new. Kung baga, kung baga hindi natin lang sinastagnat yung sarili natin on this kind of knowledge about sa trabaho natin, but we push ourselves na i-challenge pa kung ano pa yung makakaya natin. Eh, ayan, no? So, eto, um, kasi yung klase natin is mostly Zoom meeting, live interactive class. Um, paano nyo po, para at least, no, sa ating next batch, kasi may mga new batches tayo na magsistart, ano yung mga tips, techniques, or strategies na pwede nyo i-share sa kanila? Paano nyo pa nakuha yung distinction? <laughs> kasi bilang talaga ko din na sa lahat talaga nakaline up talaga sila straight distinction lahat. Ano yung mga strategies and techniques nyo na pwede nyo i-share sa kanila sa next batch? Kasi for sure, mati-challenge to sila kasi yung first batch eh, na lahat straight distinction sila talaga. So ano yung mga strategies nyo, sir? Start tayo by Sir Randy. Um, the only thing that uh, I can advise for the uh, uh, students who are taking up on this course right now is uh, for them to be able to achieve the same what we achieved today is you really need to put your heart in. I mean, mm -hmm. when you start to learn, then you need to have your focus. Um, you need to ask questions and you need to uh, uh, understand uh, everything from uh, what is being asked for you. Uh -huh. The only thing that you need to always remember is how you are able to see yourself uh, going to excel and um, you need to put more uh, focus on each and every detail of each subject uh, with the help of your instructor. Uh -huh. yeah. The instructor will, will, will tell you exactly what you need to do uh -huh. but however the execution will must come from you. Yes, because um, instructor just to facilitate your learning but all the answers is coming from our students that's good so let's go to kay ma'am ano kay ma'am cherry pie i think you must have a time management one that's number one and if you have a goal then you must be uh, have a determination to achieve this goal one so and uh, one more um you must provide at least one hour a day to review all the lessons and um, hear whatever the recorded uh, video or recorded class on your portal. So that would be routine na ma'am, no? So you need to put habits and routine for every day, especially kung hinahati mo yung trabaho mo at the same time yung pag-aaral. So that's a good thing. Also, time management and yun, put one hour at least sa pag-re-review. That's a good point also, Ma'am Cherry Pie. Let's go to Ma'am Vanessa. Uh, yes, uh, as Ma'am Cherry said, uh, all the last uh, 
recorded class video. So that is the advantage. Yes, that's the advantage of Zoom class. Kasi sa mga kabayan naman natin, kasi hindi natin may wawala. We are on traditional. Lumaki tayo sa traditional teaching, which is classroom, tapos ando yung sudyante, ando yung instructor. But then, dahil sa pandemic, naging ano siya, no, advantage siya sa atin because we became ano, dynamic and flexible, which is pwede natin palang magkaroon ng diploma while we are taking it through Zoom meeting application. That's good also, Ma'am Vanessa. Kasi, especially sa inyo, Ma'am, no? Kasi nga, uh, minsan, 24-7 tayo nagtatrabaho. So, parang good or advantage sa atin. Yung parang may recorded class video siya. Pwede ito siya balik-balikan. Yung nakinagandaan. That's a good point also. Kasi minsan na may na-attend ka ng class. Kasi minsan nakakalimutan mo. Kasi minsan may naisip ka. Ano kaya nulutuin ko sunod? <laughs> ano kaya? Saan na kayo pupunta? Ano kaya kakainin ko sunod? <laughs> Ayun. Hindi talaga makawala yun. Kasi sa classroom yun naman talaga. Minsan din. Kasi talaga na ano balikan yun. Mm-mm. So, pwedeng pwede mo talagang balikan kasi minsan, hindi natin mawawala talaga minsan kasi yung isip natin minsan is nakafocus sa susunod nating trabaho at saka target, especially kung nagtatrabaho tayo sa opisina, sa bahay, at saka sa iba pang company. So, kailangan talaga natin yun yung mga recorded class video. So, let's go to kay Sir Darius. Yeah, um, my advice to most new student, especially for a company, um, before you enroll to this class, make sure that you are dedicated to this one. Because uh -huh. if you are not dedicated to this uh, course, you are not unable to complete the uh, test, of course. Uh -huh. And uh, to add more, um, you need to have self-discipline. Not only time management, but also self-discipline. Uh -huh. Because if you don't have self-discipline, you cannot do anything. Yes. So, lahat talaga to ng mga points talaga ng graduate student natin ng accounting is na talagang dapat i-key points talaga to sa ating mga new students. Hindi lang sa accounting diploma, maging sa different diploma courses natin. So, yan talaga is yung mga um, techniques and strategies kung paano natin ma-achieve yung course. Ayan, so this time po, ito na yung time na ano, kung sino yung gusto nyong patiin and then for thank you and pa-shoutouts, yun. Ito na, pwede nyo siyang, ano na, uh, talaga yung open, ano na siya, um, tawag niyan, pwede na kayong mag-click um, sa inyong mga um, inspiration or sino nag-inspire nag sa inyo to finish this course. Let's start with Sir Randy. Uh, okay, so I would like to thank this opportunity to find, of course, my, my wife. You know, she's been there for me and support me on the way um, uh, with this journey. Uh, First thing she told me is like, will you, will you be able to, to finish? I said, I, I need to finish the course, and I'm really committed to finish it. Uh -huh. Second person that I would like to thank uh, is Mom Precious. With her perseverance, with her um, full guidance you know, to all of us, you know, she always there for us to give inputs, to give her feedback, uh, which really helped us a lot to uh, be in this uh, position right now that we are able to uh, finish what we started. Yeah, so, thank you, Ma'am Precious. Good job to you, Ma'am. And uh, really, I am uh, hoping that even though you're uh, far away from us, then we will be able to still communicate. Thank you so much. Very, ano din yan, very proud din si Miss Precious kasi yung batch niya talagang ano, working hard talaga to achieve their dreams. And ito nga, lahat na sila is ano no, na kuha na nila yung potential nila with the highest honor pa yan. So let's go to my Miss Mom Cherry. Yeah. First, I'd like to say thank you to myself, of course. <laughs> kasi hindi ko naman siya makakamit, hindi uh, ko naman siya Hindi ko naman siya ma-achieve uh -huh. kung uh, wala akong dedication sa sarili. It's self-discipline, gaya nga ng sinabi ni Sir Dallas. And second, kay Ma'am Precious, of course, kasi every time na nagtuturo siya, talagang binigyan niya yung best niya para maitindihan namin siya ng mabuti. And uh, yun nga, if uh, we have some questions, we can always ask Mom Precious to elaborate or to explain it, uh, explain it uh, very well. And third, some colleagues and 
and uh, monitors kasi uh -huh. super super capable sila. Thank you, Miss Sherry. Let's move on to Miss Vanessa. Uh, yeah. uh, first of all, I want to thank God um, mm -hmm. for guidance and the heart. Kasi syempre, nakayanan uh, namin yung ganun na yung may trabaho. Mm, challenges. Nag-aaral ka. So, yun. And then, second, yung my husband for the not only support, not only moral and physical, but financial. And lastly, say, my precious thing. Uh, thank you so much for the knowledge na tinutok sa amin. Kahit na yung napupulitan na siya sa akin, sa kakachat ma, paano ka to mangyari ko. Kahit, you know, the time interval between mm -hmm. wait and wait. Mm -hmm. So, Definitely. kahit kasing gabi ako nagtitiyan mm -hmm. sa kanya. Uh, sumasagot pa rin po siya. And, yun. Uh, so, parang mga salamat po po kayo. Yes. And, Miss Precious is also, ano din, grateful din sa inyo. Kasi nga, yung mga pinaghirapan niya at pinaghirapan niyo, it paid off. Kasi natapos niya at hawak niya ng credentials niyo. Yes! 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 Of course! Okay. Let's move on to kay Sir Darius. Yeah. Um, first, I'd like to thank um, God, of course, because of you. You know, if you need your help, so you can help me with this course. And then, so can we be your family? For supporting you all the time. And then, please, Mom Precious, for being there. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, I would like to thank PCSD for giving us this opportunity to, of course, complete our study. Mm -hmm. And ICSA is very proud of you. Kasi ikaw na yung proud ng students natin. It's ICSA proud also. Kasi nga, sabi nga nila, your success is also our success here in ICSA. So, we are also thankful sa inyong um, trust sa ICSA. And also, your instructor, actually, she's not ano, no, available online right now. Pero, mapapanood niya to. It's either bukas or mamaya-maya. So, kasi different yung timing natin sa time zone. So, she will be very grateful and happy and proud na yung mga sudyante niya, they finished the course. And also, with distinction. Diba? Bonus na yung distinction. Kasi lahat, naka, ano na siya, naka-highest honor na sila lahat. So, yun. So, maraming maraming salamat, um, Sir Randy, Ma'am Sharif, uh, Sharifai, Miss um, um, Vanessa, and Sir Darius, for, ano no, sparing your time here in ICSA, especially to sa live update natin ngayon. At least, may makapulutan yung ating mga ongoing students din kasi they are also experiencing challenges, hindi lang sa pag-aaral, especially sa trabaho. So at least they will be motivated din no, sa mga experiences ninyo. They will go to apply it also to their study. So maraming maraming salamat. May mga pahabol po ba kayo? Uh, thank you so much uh, for the support also of the, the ICSA, especially mm -hmm. at Okay. Yeah, you're uh, most welcome. You're yeah, most yeah, welcome. Yeah. Mm. Yes, so, I uh, really appreciate you guys and mm. uh, I hope you continue to uh, keep on doing what you need to do and keep motivating uh, others and inspiring them to, mm -hmm. to come back and uh, go on. Mm -hmm. Actually, every time na mag-release kami ng credential, it is a uh, uh, fulfilling feelings talaga sa amin sa ICSA kasi somehow is may mga talagang ni-reach talaga yung pangarap nila even though of the ano, challenges it's either financially, physically or dahil sa mga trabaho pero yun pa rin, parang kayo talaga yung patunay, yung mga nagtatapos natin mga sesante na kaya natin kaya natin kahit nasa abroad, kahit nasa sa trabaho, kaya pa rin natin mag-upgrade at challenge yung sarili natin so yan, maraming maraming salamat um, sa ating UK Diploma in Accounting Graduates with Distinctions. Yes, so congratulations. So maraming maraming salamat. Maraming maraming salamat sa pag-unlock sa ating interview. And yun, we wish you uh, more achievement whatever your next plan after this course. So andito lang naman yung ICSA um, guarding sa inyong mga plano. So yan, so see you next time. Kung somewhere around the globe, kung saan naman na tayo mapadpad. So, see you next time and thank you very much. Thank you so much.